Welcome everyone, Questine here on Serious Gaming with another multiplayer video for Total War Room 2 on the Carthage map, Carthago map specifically, if you want to go with the historical name or the in-game name. I'm fighting a Pontus versus Macedonia battle. I'm in command of uh, the Pontic army. I've got six units of bronze shield pikemen, two hoplite units, four eastern archers, four mercenary Scythian horse archers, and four noble blood cavalry units. I'll use my Scythian archers to harass the enemy. Now this map, well, let me just put it like this. This map uh, is an annoyance. Why? Because you have this hill and everyone is going to try and rush up this hill. i have deploy my units here because that's exactly what I'm going to do right here with my army. Once, uh, you know, once, um... Once the battle begins. So. Let's uh, send the Scythian archers. Horse archers in the front to uh, harass the enemy. Now they've, they don't have armor. So they're very vulnerable. However they're gonna be able to harass the enemy quite effectively. I hope. Now the goal here is to conquer this hill. If you conquer this hill, you've got a good solid height advantage against your enemy. However, any player war for them knows this and will try and do that exactly. So, companion cavalry going to the fray. Now, companion cavalry is... Uh, Companion cavalry is um, is shock cavalry. They're not that effective as other cavalry is in fighting and um, fighting in a melee. So. You can see here that my noble blood cavalry is actually winning right there against the enemy. Now, obviously, there's still a concern here. He's got foot companions. So I need. Oh, he had to ask this companion cavalry, which is melee cavalry. what my opponent is trying to achieve here. He's uh, put his archers to shoot on my guys right there. Okay, these people right there are breaking. He's uh, got mercenary Fracian Peltas and he's trying to send them in there to help out his... ...is uh, surrounded cavalry. Now, if I win in the melee right here, and I've already done so actually, send the Pelt... I'm gonna send the units that I have right there to support to win right there. Ooh, he's brought his... He's brought companion cavalry around the side right there. Okay, so let's uh, throw units back into the fold. He's routed my cavalry quite nicely right there. Where is my general? Thing is, he hasn't won on a melee level yet. His foot companions are tough, but they're not invincible. And that's his general unit to point it out. So these guys are routing right here, so I'm gonna throw them over there. He hasn't deployed that 
unit of foot companions yet into the fray. I'm not sure what his intentions are there. I don't much care. Obviously, you know, if I if I win against his foot companions, he, there's not going to be much he's going to be able to do. I'm also going to get these guys. Now, if I, if I can draw attention from his uh, units over there, Aspis Companion Cavalry or not, you're not going to be able to charge a Phalanx head on and win. Now here I'm drawing away his Companion Cavalry from the battlefield while my infantry wins against his units over there. Now my general has died, unfortunately. Okay, since he's... Okay, form up on the hill once these guys break, and they will break eventually. Once these guys break, once these foot companions break. I'll be able to turn around. And do. And deal with his uh, other unit of foot companions. His general is also dead by now, so you know it's a pretty evenly matched battle, but I have the infantry advantage. Ron Shield Pikeman. Against one unit of companion cavalry and one unit of uh, foot companions. Well, he suffered more casualties than I have, so he should break. Hopefully. Okay, now reform right here. Oh, it's not going to be necessary. Alright, so, that's it. That's the battle against uh, this Macedonia army. Or this army made of Macedonians. Alright. Well, I did win. Uh, it didn't go exactly as I had planned. You know, rushing at, on the top of the hill is all well and fine, but don't lose track of the battle. He got distracted by the cavalry uh, battle, you know, between my noble cavalry and his companion cavalry, and he forgot his infantry. He had four units, uh, if I'm not mistaken here, four units of foot companions. I had six bronze shield pikemen. I had, the, you know, obviously the infantry advantage. In that situation, he should have made better use of his cavalry, but he didn't. He allowed himself uh, to be distracted by an engagement well, obviously, you know, if he had lost that cavalry engagement things, and he did lose it, um, but he did send reinforcements to deal with it, uh, to deal with my cavalry, things would have gone worse for him. But, you know, th those bronze shield pikemen would have had a harder time if he had moved all his foot companions to engage them, and, you know, on the slope of the hill. He allowed me to actually reach the top of the hill and engage them on even ground. So yeah, uh, Kostin here on Serious Gaming signing out. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thank you all for watching and stay tuned for more.